Hello, hello, hello. My name is Trudy. I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium, and this is for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Pisces, this is your July 2021 reading. This applies for both. Uh, mm, this applies for both Vedic, Sidereal, and Western astrology. I am using the Desert Illuminations Tarot, which I picked up. Uh, I picked up on my desert tour of America, my Mercation, which I'm now back from. So. And we're still in a Mercury retrograde, so excuse my, I don't know, I get stuck and I can't speak properly, so, uh, yeah, there's that, because I'm dyslexic and, uh, what have you, so bear with me as I try to give you the messages as clearly as possible during this very intense Mercury retrograde. So, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces little fishy of the zodiac what waters have you swam into these days okay last shuffle they said do this first I gotta shuffle weird ways I am guided to do so it's just part of it okay here we go last shuffle then cut the deck then the reading So now we're going to cut the deck right there. Ah, so in this month of July, there's going to be a reunion. A reunion that is, hmm, it's a good reunion. It's not a negative. And how about it has something to do with the finances. It's to strategize. A reunion to put together ideas and to clarify and to yes to strategize to organize to to congregate to everybody get on the same page so that we can accomplish much more okay so that's why i was saying it's good oh yes in july the things that were stuck like last month and the month before I'm getting that you've been stuck, Pisces. Whatever it is that was stuck is finally going to bust. And it's going to budge and move. Uh, I don't know, boob. I don't know, some, something about a boob. Anyways, uh, uh, chariot. Yeah, so the chariot is awesome. Okay, the chariot is fast moving energy that's why i'm saying that the speed of things is going to pick up in addition he's a victor he is the champion he is the hero and i'm only saying he because well typically the charioteer would be a dude just like it's depicted on the picture however you're the champion so let's take a moment to sing the song from queen <laughs> uh, cause you are the champion, my friend, ba, ba, and you'll keep on fighting till the end, da -na, na 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 you are the champion, you are the champion, cause you've got duality here, it's beautiful, you know, this duality is beautiful because there is no wrong. The perceived bad things that happen in your life actually led you to this here juncture where you're winning. So everybody wants to be a Pisces in July because you, I mean, with one card, and this is the most influential card of your reading, just one card, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. You're the hero. Now I'm hearing another one. Oh my god, it's gonna be a whole bunch of karaoke. We could be heroes. Really bad singing, sorry. Um, Alright, oh my god. Oh my god, Pisces. I really love your reading. I kind of want to be a Pisces. So we got the Empress here. You are stepping into your Empress energy. You're delegating tasks. You are the utmost woman. 
you are in your divine feminine energy. If you're a dude, you're still in your divine feminine energy and that's perfectly okay because the divine feminine delegates tasks. The divine feminine is in trust and in harmony with all of her environment. She's entrusted if something goes wrong, it was meant to happen that way. She's entrusted if something goes wrong, she will have whatever it takes to fix it. She's not in fear. If there's something she's in fear of, she's going to jump right in. That's the Empress energy. She's a fucking badass. So, my boys, my gentlemen, do not be offended when I say that you're stepping into Empress energy because she's a fucking badass. And in this particular suit, you don't even know. She's practicing that Mexican judo. Judo, no. What? You don't know what she's got going on under that cloak. You have no idea. Ju don't know if she got a gun. Ju don't know if she got a knife. And Ju don't want to find out. <laughs> All right. So let's see. What the fuck is this? Pisces. Yo. I pulled three cards. The three cards are all major arcana. Whoops. It went like this. Yeah. Chariot. Empress. And now, the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune! Um, so this is really good. This, this is truly delicious energy, okay? Because the, the chariot accomplishes. The empress accomplishes through means of others. And the Wheel of Fortune, it's like the workings of destiny. Just everything working out, like, the things that you know that are meant to be for you, Pisces. You're getting it this season with this card. All those stars in the sky, you are accomplishing your goals. You are taking big-ass strides. And sure, there may be some obstacles along the way but really those are just rites of passage so don't be hard on yourself don't be disheartened don't be disillusioned because you are getting you are getting your slice of cake and the whole cake too okay so uh oh yeah bottom of the deck energy nine of pentacles look at this alien babe that is you you are the subject of desire yes you are the one to be envied. You're the one to be admired. You're the one in the spotlight, okay? My lovey-dovey. I'm going to close out the reading here. It's a whole lot of good. If you do want a personal private exchange of energies with me, click on the description box. I don't know if it's here or here. You've got a few options. Um, contact, me, contact me and we'll make it happen. I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you.